so welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Tonight, we're gonna give you kind of like a wreath recipe. This is the perfect wreath recipe for any time of the year. Change the color of mesh, change the ribbon, change the sign, do whatever you want, but this is a perfect wreath recipe for your front door. So let me tell you one more thing. You're gonna wanna stay till the end because I'm giving away this wreath and the only way to find out how I'm giving it away is to stay till the end. So let's get started. Let's make a wreath, why don't we? And the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna use this um, mesh roller holder system. It's Susie's Ultimate Collapse Mesh Roller. And you know what, guys? I really, really like this. It's a great product, and I'm gonna just show you how you can just put it together really easy. Um, Susie sells these on, um, let's see, she sells them on Amazon, but she also sells them on her website. And I will have a um, link for these down in the description box below if you want to get one there. So you can have three different spots here to put your mesh, but we're going to just do the one here. I'm going to open this up. And we're going to start. I wanted to make a spring wreath, um, basically to kind of like, you know, I know that it's Easter and I've, I've got this sign that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. It was not painted pink. I just painted it pink. It was just a wood sign, literally less than a dollar fifty. Okay. So <laughs> go grab one if that's what you want to do, but you can take off the sign after Easter, but we are going to use what we have. I had some of this turquoise, like um, window pane mesh. I have some white mesh. I'm now going to cut all of my mesh. Okay. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to put my white one up here and then I don't have to unravel. And this is gonna sit on the side and literally it's all gonna stay. I can run it through here underneath. Let me show you here. And it's gonna hold all my mesh and it's gonna lay flat. So I Okay, so let's talk about how we're gonna cut this poly burlap mesh, right? We're gonna have a rotary cutter mat down here. I get this from the reshop. I'll have a link for that below. Um, I have a glass cutting board. I get mine from Amazon. Guys, you can even go, if you have a big lots, I saw them there for like six bucks the other day. Go grab one. If they have a texture on one side, flip them over. Make sure it's glass, not plastic, okay? And you're gonna grab one of these wood burner tools. I have a lot of people ask, uh, do I have to? Do I need that? You don't need it, but your frustration, you're gonna waste material because your material is going to disintegrate. Here's the thing. This is like 12 or $13 on Amazon. This is worth the investment in my opinion. If you can't afford to get this and this, use a metal cookie sheet and measure it out and put a little piece of tape so you know where you're cutting, okay? You don't have to be exact. But this is just a really good investment in your crafting supplies, all right? I know that times are hard and not everybody can get all the fancy stuff. Not everybody can buy this and all the different things that I have here. But these are just tools that would be great for like birthdays and Christmas. So if you have those um, desires to get these, tell your people, um, go here's Julie's storefront and here's, here's the craft supplies that she has. All that is in the description box below. So when you have, I want to say this is called window pane. I don't know. I could be wrong. If I am, just let me know in the comments, but we're, we need to have this cut off. We don't want that um, extra little pieces here. So I simply go between one of the um, strands here so that we have a nice clean take. So this is going to take a little bit more time to cut. And we're gonna cut all of this mesh at 15 inches, all right? It doesn't have to be super precise. So like this is where the 15 inch mark is. Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna cut, as you can see, I'm gonna cut in between this. So by cutting in between it, I don't have to cut this piece again. Is it exactly 15 inches? Probably just a little under, but that's okay, all right? So I'm gonna cut this, probably this whole roll because we are using a bigger um, piece of um, piece, Julie. We are using a bigger wreath frame than we normally do here. We usually use the Dollar Tree wreath frame that's about 14 inches. And we're gonna use their 18 inch wreath form. I've never used it, so we're gonna give it a try and make this a little bit bigger wreath. So you're gonna cut that. And then what I do like about this mesh holder is I can just pull that back. I'm gonna grab the white here. 
Now we're gonna do two different kind of techniques with this and I'm gonna try to do an all in one process here to make this a lot easier for you. So get your mesh all cut out and then join me back for the next clip. All right, so I get it. You're like looking at this and saying, Julie, did you miss a step? No, I didn't. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put this together either with something like this or without it, okay? You don't have to have this Probo the Hand 4-in-1. Um, do I recommend it? Yes. Do I sell them in my Amazon storefront? Yes, I do. Um, and um, sometimes these tools, like I said, if you can't afford these tools, ask for them for Christmas. Ask for them for um, your birthday or something like that. Um, people want to want to get you something for your, your birthday or anniversary or something. This is what you want if you're a crafter. So what we're going to do next, you can see I have some ribbon um, cut over here. We cut um, these two pieces of ribbon at nine inches each, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to um, fold them in half and you're going to dovetail them, okay? Or you can do just the, the angles if you'd rather do the angles, but that's what I'm doing. So you want to get those prepped, okay, and ready to go. We've already cut our white mesh. We've cut our turquoise mesh. Really, you could use any color. This is just a, a wreath recipe okay that's the way i want you to look at this um like i said i will leave the links where you can get these from ryan lane's designs he's a friend of mine and um he makes beautiful wreaths and i just i was in dallas and saw this ribbon and i was just like i love this ribbon <laughs> so and it has paisley's in it and i really wanted to name our dog paisley but did i win no i didn't win at all something is falling down here but this is real life julie's wreath boutique is real life okay I, I was about to say julie's biz boutique did you guys know i'm a social media business coach if you didn't know that and if you're looking for a business coach somebody to help you with the social media woes and how to get over that that hill to make your business a success if you're a crafter or of any sort um i can help you and i have a wait list just like i have an email list join those lists down below it doesn't cost you anything on my email list i do give stuff away so um, make sure you're on those lists. Let's get back to this. This is a Dollar Tree 18 inch wreath. I might um, regret making one this big, but that's okay. We're going to give it a try. I don't even know if you'll see the whole thing. So what we're going to do is you're basically going to start, I'm going to get some zip ties here because I love my zip ties. You don't have to use zip ties. You can even use, um, let's see, uh, pipe cleaners. So you're going to take your first piece of mesh here. Okay. They're both at 15 inches long. Got stuff on my, I'm not really sure what that all is. We are going to do, this one is going to be the ruffled or the pancake. I don't know. I don't know the names, guys. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start in the middle here and I'm simply, this is the curl side down. And that's something you really need to remember. Okay. So it kind of looks like a little circle, all right? Like a little bow tie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I call these chip clips, let me look for them. We already have one, okay? We got one right there, but I don't know where the rest of my chip clips are. All right, so you can kind of see what I did there, all right? So we're gonna do this fan look, and then we are going to, I'm just gonna set this right in between here to hold it, because I can't find my chip clip. Then I'm gonna take a white piece, all right? But this time we're gonna do curl side up. And I'm going to curl a little bit here. I'm going to curl in a little bit here. And then we're just going to start ruffling it. So this is like a little different look, okay? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go over top of this. I'm going to hold it or use your chip clip. They're not chip clips, guys. They're really uh, laundry pens. You know, it's just what I say or call them. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to ruffle it and put it. Okay, so we're gonna do this all in one step. I'm gonna take this and let's start, it's easier to kind of start here. We're gonna start at the actual um, cross bracket here. Let's see if this is long enough. This is pretty thick here. And using a pipe cleaner might be a little bit easier too. So you might wanna keep that in mind. I'm gonna just it. All right. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way around this wreath. All right. So there's one. So what I did here, let's add the one I already did here. And then I'm going to show you another one. All right. So you're just going to pull this up all together. 
I'm gonna show you another way to do it too. So we're gonna put this one in between this time. We're gonna just stay on that middle wire frame because there's really only one frame or one wire to put it all on. And that's what we're gonna do. So you might, it might be good to use a bigger zip tie if you're gonna use zip ties, because this is gonna, this is a little, little daunting. So let's try it with a pipe cleaner and see if we like that. Oops, that's on the wrong side, Julie. Let me pull that through. Okay, so here's the other um, version of this is that you put your pipe cleaner down in between. Okay, we're gonna take our pieces of mesh again. The first one is curl side down. I'm gonna start by ruffling it here. I add it right in between the two dowels, just to kind of be my holder. So just basically a holder. Then I'm gonna grab a white piece, curl side up, and I'm going to roll the two under, and now this is kind of a curl ruffle or a cruffle method, I guess, I don't know. All right, and then I'm gonna take my two pieces of ribbon. I'm going to dovetail them, because I haven't. These ribbons are cut at nine inches a piece, okay? That's all you need, and you can use, if you would rather use the smaller, like we have um, smaller of this as well, like the one and a half inch, do that. So you're gonna take this, take your pipe cleaner, Make sure you go in between. Okay, I gotta pull that because it's not quite even. And I'm gonna just kind of push this down and then I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, I'm gonna push it down and then I'm gonna attach it to my wreath frame. Now what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna do one at each of the brackets, okay? and one in between the brackets. So I'm gonna just take this and we're gonna go in between here and just twist, okay? Like mix them up a little bit to kind of fill the voids. And you're just gonna keep going all the way around. If you wanted to, you could mix up the different colors if you wanted to layer them more, but this is simply the process. So I'm gonna go all the way around and then I'll be back and we're gonna make a bow for this. We're gonna attach a sign and that's, that's the bow recipe. So that it's one step process. We're not making all these different curls, adding them and keep adding them. We're gonna do it in one step and then we're gonna make a really pretty bow. Okay. Guys, it's I'm gonna be typical Julie here and I'm gonna change my mind and we're gonna change this up. Um, I have the wreath completely done and oh my goodness, it is so cute. I'm really, really loving it. Here's the problem. I put this up against it and I just don't like it. It's just a little too flimsy for me. I feel like I need something for this to go on that will hold it. I'm just afraid that it would break pretty easy. But I also feel like the the wreath was too big for this sign, if that makes sense. So what we're gonna do, and you can still use this idea, and maybe do this on a smaller wreath. I think this would be um, maybe the 14 inch wreath form, and then put this on, but I just was like, okay, I'm not really loving it the, the size wise. And then I have these hello signs that I got from the wreath shop, and I'll leave the link for these down below. And I thought, okay, that's really pretty, but it's white, and then I used white, so how can we kind of jazz it up? So. This is just a suggestion, and this is, um, we we craft here. We do more than just wreaths here. I know my name is Julie's Wreath Boutique, but we do more than just wreaths, so I'm gonna teach you how to use foil transfers, okay? And um, if you are interested in it, you can get this from Art um, Artistic Designs and um, our Artistic Painting Studio, okay? That's what it's called, I'm sorry. And all the things um, are in the description box below. And if you use my link and use my coupon code, Julie's Wreath Boutique 10, well, you'll get an extra 10% off. So I wanted to jazz this sign up a little bit. So I thought, why not use this really pretty, like turquoise -y, um, foil that I have on the sign. And so um, if you watched another video I did about a month and a half ago, we used this. And this is so easy and really, it's very satisfying to do. So you're gonna take 
the foil adhesive. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush here and I'm just going to put it on my sign. I just want to kind of focus on the top of the sign, not so much the sides. And I'm just going to put um, a layer of this and then you're going to let this dry for about an hour so that it can get tacky and it can um, adhere have the foil adhere to it. It's just that really, it's just really easy. And then when we're done adhering the foil to it, um, I will use the final coat, which will help protect it against the weather. And that's kind of another step that you're gonna wanna do, especially if this is gonna be outside. If it's not gonna be outside, then you really don't have to do it. But again, if it's gonna be um, exposed to any kind of weather, you're gonna wanna put that top final coat. All right, on so it. let's make a fabulous bow for this wreath. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my four in one out. So just in case you want to, if you already have this and you use this for the, the bundles that we did, you can use it for your bow maker. Now, if you don't have this bow maker and you want it, the link for it will be in the description box below. But also, if you want to make a bow by hand, I have so many bow videos. Um, I will leave the bow playlist down below. I show you how to do it by hand. I show you how to do um, them with this product, with the Pro Bow the Hand. These are the only bow makers that I use. So, um, but we're just going to go ahead and kind of go with it since we have this in front of us. So what I'm going to do is I cut a really long piece of, this is actually 24 gauge wire. Um, I kind of feel like I like this a little bit more than the 26 and a little bit better than the 22. So I'm going to just like put it right under here because it was like on a spool. We're going to start with our first color first and I'm going to start with this pink paisley look here and I'm going to put this again. I will leave you links in the description box below. We're not going to make really big long tails for this. I'm going to keep it pretty simple and we are going to just measure it to the end of our maker here. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to twist it. I always, this is just the way I do it. I like to twist it before I get it on my um, maker here. So we're going to go to the six inch and we are going to just um, bring it back. And when I bring it back here, I just take it and I you know, gather it and then I like to twist it again so that the wrong side is going up. So we're gonna do this um, four times, all right? So this is one, this is two, do it again, three, four, all right? And then we're not even going to do anything else. We're gonna take that, I'm gonna cut another length off right here, okay? Then I'm gonna take this one off and I have some pink ribbon that I'm gonna use again. Um, you could pick out anything that's within your color choice in your ribbon, um, but this is what I'm gonna use here because I already had it on hand. So I'm gonna put it in there, roll it up a little bit. Again, we're just gonna make a nice little tail here. And what's nice about this ribbon is it's pretty much the same. So we're gonna go at the six inch again. One, this one's pretty easy, you know? And we're gonna do four loops on this one. I don't have to really twist it and um, make it different on either side because it's really the same. So I like that. So we're gonna do that and again, just, have a little tail. So now let's add um, some of this white background of the paisley. And again, we're going to make a nice little tail here. And now we're going to twist it. Now, instead of the six, I want to go to the, I'm going to do, let's do the five. And we're going to do this four times as well. All right, because when we get this off of the um, bow maker, then we're gonna just really put it together. We're gonna fluff this baby up. So I just think this is a good wreath recipe for any time of the year. Just change out your colors, change out your ribbon, change out your mesh, and you've got a great recipe, all right? All right, so now we're gonna cut that one off again. And now let's use, oh, I'm trying to think, what do I wanna do? The green or the pink? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the green guys let's try the green all right and again we're going to nine inches but again we probably won't need all of that I'll end up clipping that off so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the four inch okay and I'm just kind of like looking at it I'm not being too precise on it okay and again this is good so we're gonna do four the exciting part all right again we're gonna make a little tail and a twist all right and let's do this one at four inches too to keep it consistent and we're gonna do this four times as well all right now find your your wire here I'm gonna find it I'm going to cross it here Okay, and I'm going to push this down as much as I can. And then before I go down, I'm just going to pop this off, all right? And I'm going to, again, I'm going to press it down and we're going to bring it. You're going to bring both of those wires up as tight as you can. All right, so if you know what this is, this is called a fluff box. Again, this is not a necessity. This is just something that I have that I'm going to use and you can get it from Probo the Hand. So you're just going to go around the one loop and then I just go like that. So first things are first is we're gonna start with the bottom. This is a little bit, I think this is kind of like the Terry bow if you're real familiar with any of the, um, the bows that Regina Sellers makes. And I believe Terry Marshall's the one, it's called the Terry bow because she made it. And you're just gonna, you know, pop out and I don't know if this is the exact recipe for that, so don't quote me on that. I don't want to get it wrong and get in trouble. All right, so you're just going to just separate all of your little loops here. And then we're going to just trim up our tails. Yeah, we got to trim up these tails big time. They are way too big. Okay. but I kind of like how you can just kind of play with this and then have everything let's start cutting these and I'm going to cut dovetails in them and I might even do that a little bit smaller so just go through and you're just going to cut all of your tails as much as you want and you can kind of play with it and have it so watch me as I do this fast we're gonna speed this up try really hard to have everything kind of centered but sometimes it's impossible to do so I've put my table down if you're wondering what kind of table this is a husky tool bench that um, goes up and down with a lever that I got at Home Depot um, it has the two drawers in it and um, they sell them at Home Depot if you're interested you can go by there or go to their website um, so I'm gonna find a spot I think I'm gonna put it like right here and I'm just going to take my wires and go through the wreath frame, all right? One side with one and one side with the other, and then we're just gonna tie it off, and it's pretty pretty simple, guys. It's not that hard to do. You just gotta be a little patient with putting it on here, okay? So I've got it down, so let's pull it. Kinda have it. I like this bow a lot. I think it's really super cute. And we're gonna just kind of pull it down. Let's pull it down, all right? Pull it down to where you want it and then start twisting it on the back. And then you're just going to um, tie off the pieces in the back here. And then you're just going to um, cut your wires, okay? That's all you're gonna do. And then you're going to just fluff up your bow, have it any way you want here. And I think that's really cute, so okay. So we're back. This is, we've waited an hour. Now we're going to take our transfer. Let's, we're going to try it with one side first here. And you're just going to lay it over top of your um, piece here. And then you're going to take something like this. I'm going to like, you know what? I'm going to rub it down with my fingers first. Now, oops, I got a little crease there. I'm sure that won't matter. So I'm going to rub it with my fingers. 
and you can see how it's attaching. This is just kind of fun to work with. All right, so now I'm gonna take this little scrub daddy. You could take like a little hand brush. You could take a, um, a hard bristled toothbrush or anything like that. So you're just gonna go over where it is until we can see that all the foil is adhering to our sign. Okay, are you ready for the most satisfying part of this? All right, so let's take our foil here and start pulling it away. Oh my goodness, oopsie, we got one that didn't go all the way. So let's pull that back. Oops, I'm getting it on that side. I don't wanna do that. So I need to rub this one a little bit. Ooh, it's pretty. It looks like I may have needed a little bit more adhesive. So what I'll probably do is I'll go back and put a little bit more adhesive and let that tack up since I have the time. I think it's a little harder. Yeah, I didn't have, I can feel that I didn't have the adhesive there, but um, when it's white and you're putting white stuff on white, it's a little bit challenging. So I'm gonna go back. All right, hold on, oops. I'm gonna add a little bit more adhesive and I think I'm gonna add a little bit more here and then just kind of feel it We'll do this side next and then go over any spots that I need to go back over. So let's do this side because I want to use as much and then um, I'll just add a little bit another layer. And then what I'm going to do too is after I'm done with that, I'm going to add a final um, coat just to go over it to kind of protect it and then it'll be ready to go on our wreath. So I added more um, of the adhesive to kind of get the spots that I kind of missed. I think if you didn't have something with a white background, you could see it better. So I just go back over with the same piece and you can see it just fills it up really nicely. There's a spot over here. And I'm just gonna, I think I put a little bit extra on and it's that simple. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we're, I'm going to just take a very light coat, put this on it. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to glue some um, wire on the back of it and we're going to put it on a wreath. It's that easy. Okay, so now it's time to be able to um, take our sign and put it on our frame, okay, or on our wreath. So you could do one of two things. You could get a stapler um, and put it through here. I don't know where that is right now. And I know I say this in every one. And I just feel like kind of like a big dummy when I do this because I'm like, the excuse is my studio is not, it's not organized yet, guys. It's getting there, but I've just been so busy with life. Um, so I'm going to do it a little differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some pieces of wire here. This is 22 gauge. So that's pretty thick wire. And I'm just going to take off a good chunk here. And we're going to flip this over. I put that sealant on it, let it dry. It's still a little bit tacky, but it'll it'll dry even more um, when we let it have some time. And you're just simply gonna do, you can do one thing. You don't have to put the, um, the piece of felt on here, or you could just simply put a little bit of glue here and let that set up. So I'm gonna put one on this end here I'm gonna put a little tab of, of a felt piece there that I don't have cut out right now. <laughs> okay, so before we put the sign on, if you watched all the way to the end of this video, um, would you leave the word hello in the comments below? And I have a little announcement. Um, I am gonna give this wreath away. And you're probably saying, well, Julie, how are you gonna give it away? I'm gonna tell you. Now, I think I mentioned early in the video, if I didn't, I apologize. Um, again, this is a two-day process for this video, but um, I give away things in my, but to my email list subscribers. So if you want to get on the email list for Julie's Wreath Boutique, you're going to join and the, the link is going to be in the description box below. There's two email lists. I have a wait list for Julie's Biz Boutique and then I have a regular email list for Julie's Wreath Boutique. In that email, you open up the email, you find out Julie's doing the giveaway. We have a Google form that you fill out. We don't use that for any other information other than to mail your wreath or whatever it is that you win that month. We give two things away a month. 
this is going to be one of the giveaways okay you don't even have to pay for shipping you do have to live in the united states though um but basically you have to sign up up for the email you have to confirm your subscription and then what whenever you have an email for me you need to make sure you open it up just to make sure that there isn't a giveaway in that email so we've got our um wire here so you're going to i think we're going to kind of put it like right like so i'm going to kind of have it like at the bottom here and you're just gonna do exactly the same thing that you did with the bow. You're gonna find a spot to go down in two different places, and then you're just going to tie it off. That's all there is to it. So let me just do that really quick. There's no tips or tricks here. We're not gonna pull it down too far. Um, I do wanna tell you, if I had some white, longer white Chanel stems, you could use that too. Um, as far as um, putting it together. So I'm gonna like just tie that off. You can see I didn't pull it down too much. And then we're going to do it over here. Let's see, we wanna make sure that it's pretty, pretty straight. So, um, but I did use Gorilla Glue Sticks for the wreath um, sign. But I love the use of the foil. You don't have to use the foil if you want to, again, my links are down in the description box below. Make sure to use my coupon code Julie's Wreath Boutique 10 um, so that you can get an extra 10% off and buy some foils and you could have a lot of fun with a lot of different projects and kind of, you know, really snazz up, snazz up or jazz up, jazz up some <laughs> wreath signs or whatever projects. So listen, um, tonight is April the 2nd. I'm going to be having a special video out this Thursday night, so make sure that you're watching it. I am going to be collabing with another YouTuber, so it's a surprise. So wait and see who it's going to be. So I think this is really pretty. I really love how this turned out. I think that it looks straight. I don't know. It doesn't look straight in the camera's view, but that's okay. Um anyhow i think this turned out beautifully i love it it's a perfect spring wreath um and i'm so happy you're here so listen again if you made it this far leave the word hello in the comments and make sure you get on my email um list because we're gonna give this wreath away in the next couple of weeks okay so we'll see you guys next time make sure to show up here thursday night april the 6th because we're gonna have a new video for you Bye bye